This is the chapter nine test review. Okay, so it says select a number shown by the model, mark all that apply. The big thing is you have to, when it says mark all that apply, you have to check all of them. So the first one, 14 tenths. Well, there's 10 tenths here, 11, 12, 13, 14. So yes, there are 14 tenths. And if there are 14 tenths, I know that there are not 40 tenths. So I know that one's already out. <clears throat> this is one and four tenths. Well, this is one whole, and then I have one, two, three, four tenths. So yes, this one works. If one and four tenths works, I know that this is the same thing written as a mixed number, so that one will also work. I have one whole and four tenths left. This one is showing 14 holes. I only have one hole, so that one's out. And I know that this is not four holes. This is only one hole, so this one is out. All right, number two. Rick has $1.27 to buy a notebook which names this money amount in terms of dollars. Mark all that apply. So what that's really saying is figure out all the different ways to, that this can be shown. So we have $1 and, the decimal is and, 27 cents. So that is what we have in word form and in money form. So I can go ahead and mark C. This one is saying $12.07 or 70 cents because if I put it in dollars, there'd be a zero there. So that one is out. This one is saying I have one and 27 thousandths. So that one is out. This is the same thing, just in decimal form, not money form. So that one works. And one and 27 over 100 is the same thing as one and 27 hundredths. This one is saying 127 tenths, so that one would not work. All right, so the next one, we have select true or false for each statement. Nine tenths is equivalent to 90 hundredths. So if we're doing that, we wanna make them equal. So if I turn nine tenths into hundredths, I have to add that zero behind it so we can see that these two are equal. 20 hundredths is equivalent to 2 hundredths. No, that is false. Because that would be written as 20 over 100 since it's in the hundredths place. 81 hundredths is equal to 8 tenths. Well, we can turn tenths into hundredths by multiplying by 10. By 10. So if I multiply the top by 10, we get the same amount. 6 tenths is the same thing as 60 hundredths. Well, if I write that as a decimal, I have 6 tenths. And if I turn tenths into hundredths, I do have 60. Three tenths is not the same thing as three hundredths. Because if I were to write that as a fraction, I would have three tenths versus three hundredths. Okay, on to the next problem. So number four says, after selling some old books and toys, Gwen and her brother Max had five one dollar bills. So I know that is five dollars six quarters so six quarters if I know four quarters makes a dollar so this would be a dollar fifty and eight dimes which would be 80 cents they agreed to divide the money equally so first of all what is the total amount of money that they earned so we're just gonna add those amounts up so we have five dollars plus one dollar and fifty cents plus eighty cents 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 5 is 5 plus 8 is 13. So we carry up the 1. 1 plus 5 is 6 plus 1 is 7. And then we just bring that decimal straight down. So all together, they made $7.30. Max said that he and Gwen cannot get equal amounts of money because five $1 bills cannot be divided equally. Well, when we're dealing with money, we could exchange these $5 bills for quarters or for different amounts. We can regroup it into different coins. So no, he is not correct because we can regroup the dollar bills into quarters. Or different coins. So because we could regroup it, we still can and we can we know that seven dollars and thirty cents is an even number 
because it ends in a zero. So if it's an even number, we can split it up. Number five, Harrison rode his bike six tenths of a mile to the park. Shade the model. So let's do that first. So shade the model. There's ten squares. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Then write the decimal to show. So now we're going to turn six tenths into a decimal, which is zero and six tenths. And since it wants it to stay in tenths, it didn't tell us to change it, we would leave it as six tenths and not sixty hundredths. Amaldo spent 88 hundredths of a dollar on a souvenir pencil from Zion National Park in Utah. What is 88 hundredths written as a decimal in terms of dollars? So when it says in terms of dollars, it's just making a decimal in hundredths place. So 88 hundredths looks like 0 and 88 hundredths. Number 7. Tran has $5.82. He is saving for a video game that costs $8.95. He needs so much more to have enough money. So we need to figure out if he has to earn $8.95 and he already has $5.82, we want to see how much more he needs. So we're going to subtract. 5 minus 2 is 3. 9 minus 8 is 1. 8 minus 5 is 3. Put your decimal and your dollar. So he needs to earn another $3.13 to be able to buy his video game. All right, question number eight. Cheyenne lives seven-tenths of a mile from school, a fraction in hundredths. So we need to turn it into a fraction in hundredths. So to turn tenths into hundredths, we multiply by 10 on the numerator and denominator, which would be 70 over 100 says, write the decimal in tenths that is less than 2 and 42 hundredths, but greater than 2. So it could be anything. We could do 2.1, 2.2, 2 2.3, 2 and even 2.4 would work because they're all less than 2.42 or 2 and 42 hundredths, but greater than 2 wholes. And it has to be in tenths. You cannot write it in hundredths or it would be wrong. All right, number 10, Kylie and her two friends are at a museum. They find two quarters and one dime on the ground. So two quarters, we know that's 50 cents. And one dime, we know that's 10 cents. Kylie and her two friends, that's how many people? Well, we know that's three people total. If Kylie and her friend share the money equally, how much will each person get? Well, first we need to figure out how much they found. So if we add those together, we get 60 cents. Then we want to see how much each person will get. So we're going to do our 60 cents and we're going to divide that by the three girls. So three can't go into zero. Our decimal comes straight up. Three goes into six two times. Three times two is six. Subtract, we get zero. Bring down our zero. Now three goes into zero, zero times. That means that each girl gets 20 cents. Now, Kylie says that each person will receive two-tenths of the money. 20 cents is two-tenths of a dollar. Okay? They only earned 60 cents, so it was not 20, it was not two-tenths of theirs. Um, So, um, no, because two tenths, um, 20 cents is two tenths of a dollar, not the total money they earned. All right, shade the model to show one and 52 hundredths. Well, showing a mixed number, I know that the first box is going to be shaded all the way. So there's one hole and 52 hundredths. So there's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and then 52. And then it says write it in decimal form. So 1 and 52 hundredths.
All right, number 12. Henry is making a recipe for biscuits. A recipe calls for five tenths of a kilogram of flour and nine one hundredths kilogram of sugar. Okay. If Henry measures correctly and combines the two amounts, how much flour, flour and sugar will he have? Well, remember, we cannot just add these together because we have different denominators. We have to have common denominators before we add. So we're going to turn this one into hundredths by multiplying by 10 on the numerator and denominator. That means my new problem is 51 hundredths plus 9 one hundredths, which equals 59 one hundredths. Now it says write our answer as a decimal, so 0 and 59 hundredths. An orchestra has 100 musicians, 40 one hundredths of them play the string instruments, which is the violin, viola, cello, double bass, guitar, lute, and harp. What decimal is equivalent to 40 one hundredths? So we want a decimal that is equal to 40 one hundredths, so we're going to do a decimal in the hundredth place. Number 14, we have to complete the table. So everything in this whole row has to be equal to 8 pennies. We know 8 pennies is the same thing as saying we have 8 cents. And we know that the money amount and the decimal are the same except for a dollar sign. 8 one-hundredths, 8 one-hundredths. Okay, so if we have 50 cents, we're going to be writing that as 50 over 100. Because that's 50 cents out of 100 cents or a dollar. And then we come up with any way that we can make 50 cents. We could do two quarters. You could do others like five dimes, ten nickels, but as long as this adds up to the money amount, you are fine. Okay, so now we're missing the bills and coins and the money amount, but we know the decimal. So that means we can easily do the money amount. We have 90 cents. We need to add something together to get 90 cents. Well, I know that three quarters is 75 cents. One dime would make it 85 cents. And one nickel would get us up to 90 cents. Now we have the money, the coins and bills. We have the decimal. We can take the decimal to make our money amount, which is $4.05. And then we need to turn it into a uh, fraction. Well, here's our fraction. We have four holes, and then we have five out of 100, five one-hundredths. All right, the next one, the point on a number line shows the number of seconds it took an athlete to run for the 40-yard dash. Write the decimal that correctly names the point. So we're not asking for a fraction. A lot of people will write the fraction, but we're looking for the decimal. So this is 5.0. 5 and 1 tenth, 5 and 2 tenths, 5 and 3 tenths, 5 and 4 tenths, 5 and 5 tenths, 5 and 6 tenths. All right, question 16. Ingrid is making a toy car. The toy car is 5 tenths of a meter high without the roof. The roof is 18 hundredths meters high. What is the height of the toy car? Choose a number from each column to complete an equation. Well, this is the original problem we're solving, but we know we have to make common denominators. So if I multiply this uh, fraction by 10 on numerator and denominator, I would turn it into 51 hundredths. I don't have to do anything to the second fraction. It's already in hundredths. So then I can add 50 plus 18 is 68. Now it's not 68 tenths. It's 68 hundredths. Number 17, Callie shaded the model to represent the question she answered correctly on the test. What decimal represents this model? Well, we can count how many full rows. That's our tenths. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I know I have zero holes. I have 8 tenths. And then I have one little hundredth, so 81. Number 18, we're deciding if these are true or false. So when we're comparing fractions or decimals, we want to line them up on top of each other so we can see. Well, I can see that this 7 makes this number bigger, and it's already open to that, so that one would be true. If I have tenths and hundredths, remember I can add a 0 to the tenths to turn it into hundredths. 
I can see that this number is bigger, so this is not open the right way. Well, I have three holes and zero holes, so that is going to be bigger. So yes, that is correct. I have one and nine tenths. Remember, I can add a zero at the end of it to make it um, equivalent in the number of place values. These are equal, so this one is not greater, so that would be false. If I line these up 41 hundredths, I see that this is 14 hundredths, so they are not equal. Now I have 6.2. If I put the 6.02 or the 6 and 2 hundredths, put a zero under that, behind that first one, I can see that 6.2 is larger, so it is facing the right way. Alright, so the next one is a little bit tricky. So we know we've got to be in hundredths to add this, okay? If I turn this one into hundredths by multiplying by 10, that's going to make this 41 hundredths plus something equals an 8. Well, this final answer is simplified. So I know that 40 plus 40 equals 81 hundredths. But if I need an 8, I can divide both of those by 10 to simplify. 81 hundredths is the same thing as 8 tenths. So it's a little bit of back and forth on that problem. Number 20. Steve is measuring the growth of a tree. He drew this model to show the tree's growth in meters. Which fraction, mixed number, or decimal does the model show? Mark all that apply. That means we've got to check them all. This one is saying I have one hole and 28 hundredths. Well, there's my hole. And there's 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So yes, we have 1 and 28 hundredths. This one is saying we have 12 holes. Well, we only have one hole, so that one is out. This one says we have zero holes. Well, I know I have one, so that one's out. This one is saying two holes. I only have one hole, so that one's out. This one is saying I have one and 28 hundredths. So here is my one hole. I have 28 in my hundredths. So yes, that one works. This one is saying 1 and 28 tenths, so I have one hole. These little squares, there's 28 of them colored in, but they are not tenths, they're hundredths, so that one's out. Last problem. Luke lives 4 tenths of a kilometer from a skating rink. Mark lives 25 hundredths kilometer from the skating rink. Who lives closer? So when we're saying closer, we really are looking for the smaller number. So we have 0 and 4 if I line these up, 0 and 25 hundredths, put my 0 behind it. Well, we see that this number is smaller, and that one is Mark. So Mark lives closer. And we know that it's closer because 25 hundredths is smaller than 4 tenths. How can you write each distance as a fraction? Well, if I have 0 and 4 tenths, as a fraction, it's 4 over 10. And if I have 25 hundredths as a fraction, I have 25 over 100. Now Luke is walking to the skating rink to pick up a practice schedule. Then he's walking to Mark's house. So he's going the 4 tenths of a mile to the skating rink. Then he is walking 25 hundredths of a mile from the skating rink to Mark's house. So we're going to add those together. And to add those together, we have to make common denominators. And with decimals, you can just line it up vertically. So 0 plus 5 is 5. 4 plus 2 is 6. Decimal straight down. 0 plus 0 is 0. Will he walk more or less than a kilometer? So that means, is it more or less than one hole? Well, he walks less than one hole. And we know that because 65 hundredths is less than one whole. All right, good luck on your test. Make sure you take the time to line up decimals. Make sure you read carefully to see if it's asking for hundredths or tenths. And make sure you check all of those multiple answer questions. Have a great day. Good luck on your test.